Lisbeths. In my last video, I told you guys what my favorite Christmas movies were. Home Alone 1 and 2, Elf, and The Holiday. There's a lot of others, but those are just the top ones. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite terrible Christmas movies. I absolutely love these movies, but critics and so many people on the internet think they're truly awful. Now, I should preface all of this that these movies all came out in the 90s. I was born in the 90s, so I watched these movies as a child. I feel like if I watched them today as an adult for the first time, I would probably agree that they're pretty bad. But they have the nostalgic factor working for them, so I still love them as an adult because it just reminds me of my childhood. The first movie came out in 1996. Currently, it has a score of 17% on Rotten Tomatoes with a 38% audience score. So not good. But it's got like the perfect 90s cast. You got Schwarzenegger, Sinbad, and little Anakin. That's right, jingle all the way. It's an incredible film about a workaholic dad who's never there for his family, so he's gonna make it up to them this year by promising the kid that he's gonna get him the Turbo Man doll. The doll that everyone has to have Basically, it's like the Furby or whatever the craziest toy was. I think it was Tickle Me Elmo at the time, where people were going nuts and having fist fights over it. He's like, I'm gonna get you that toy. He didn't, and now he's panicking, and he has to go try to find it. The beginning of the movie starts out with a Power Rangers parody. We got Simbad fighting Schwarzenegger to try to get this toy. And Schwarzenegger has some pretty iconic lines. Oh, poor baby. Put that cookie down. No! I'm not a pervert. I just was looking for Turbo Man doll. The movie is completely chaotic. It's over the top. It's silly. I freaking love it. Do I want a Turbo Man doll? Yes. Yes, I do. I saw somebody on TikTok that actually bought one at a Comic-Con and it was very expensive. I love Jingle All The Way. I watch it every year. It is a fantastic, terrible Christmas movie. Our next movie came out in 1998. It has a 23% score on Rotten Tomatoes with a 41% audience score, so we're inching up to 50%. This one is I'll Be Home For Christmas. It's about a college kid who's estranged from his dad because his dad remarried and he doesn't want to go home for Christmas. But his dad says, I'll give you a Porsche if you come home for Christmas. So he's like, definitely. Only problem is the bullies at his school drop him off in the middle of the desert with nothing but a Santa suit. So now he has to figure out how to get home with no money and he has to make it up to his girlfriend along the way because he was being a real jerk to her. The main character is JTT, a classic 90s figure, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, with a love interest of Jessica Biel. What more could you ask for? It's got a Santa race, a German town, a kid learning the true meaning of Christmas. Yes, it's cheesy. Yes, it's cliche, but it's a Disney movie. What do you expect? It it is better than Hallmark movies though. It just gives me those classic 90s feels and I'm all about it. Our final movie came out in 1997 and it is connected to my favorite movies. It has a score of 29% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 27% audience score. I am talking about Home Alone 3. The mistake people make with Home Alone 3 is they consider it a continuation of Home Alone 1 and 2. It's not, it is absolutely not. If you think that way, then yes, this movie is horrible. It's a terrible, terrible film. But if you consider it a standalone film in its own little universe not connected to Home Alone 1 and 2 at all, it's pretty awesome. A young boy is home alone because he has a chicken pox and he sees some neighbor's houses getting broken into. So he calls the police, but the police don't believe him. So he takes matters into his own hands. Those burglars are after a toy car. Well, not exactly a toy car. They're looking for a microchip that was put in that car and that was accidentally swapped with an old lady during their travels in the airport. That old lady gave the car to the little kid. He doesn't know he has it. So it's a tale of this little kid defending his home against these burglars. Actually, they're like spies. And he does an amazing job. The traps are elaborate and clever. We have a comedic parrot. Lucy, I'm home. What's on your mind, monkey butt? That just adds all sorts of fun to the movie. And we got Scarlett Johansson. It's like one of her first movies. Always forget that she's in that. I do have one complaint about the movie though. I think there's too many burglars. There's like four, which is double the other movies. I don't know that you need that many. There's one that looks a lot like David Schwimmer, which is hilarious because they actually wanted him for the role. Honestly, I like Home Alone 3. It's not even in the same league as the first two, which are my all time favorite Christmas movies, but it's a pretty fun film. So those are my three favorite terrible Christmas movies. An honorable mention would be Jack Frost. A weird plot, basically Michael Keaton gets turned into a snowman 
And then he hangs out with his kid and they become best buddies and then he's like gonna melt or something. I don't totally remember it, but I remember it being super weird and quite enjoyable, but also pretty bad. Didn't make the list because I don't watch it regularly. What are some of your favorite Christmas movies that other people think are terrible? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, there's only one more day of Vlogmas left and I am making a Doctor Who video. So make sure you're subscribed so you'll be notified when it goes up tomorrow. This has been a ton of fun and I really appreciate you all coming along for the journey. I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to keep it weird and keep it real.